All right, guys, today was supposed to be the first race of the season. And here is a 30 second recap of why we're not racing. What more could I lose? Basically, we all had to get tested for COVID and one person tested positive, which prevented the entire running club from going. So instead today, we're gonna time trial because I don't want to leave this down week and all the build up to this day without anything. Okay, that was under 30 seconds. So yeah, we're just gonna time trial today. Obviously the conditions aren't as great as they would be in a race, but hopefully we can still throw down something fast. Jacob is gonna be running with me. What's up guys? And Jarrett is gonna be pacing. What's up guys? <laughs> it's kind of a little bit more like relaxed. Um, obviously we're still gonna try as hard as possible. Time probably won't be as good. We'll see what happens. We're just gonna warm up really quick and then get to it. Time trial day, baby. It's been building up for a year. So guys, along with our 5K, my friends Ben and Aiden are also gonna be racing a 1600. They were supposed to race today as well, and it got canceled, so let's see how they do. Time goals, I think, you know, under 4.30, I'd, I'd be happy with, but I think Ooh. if I just like run a not awful time, I think I'll be good with that. <laughs> ben? Oh my man. Sub six. Oh yeah, definitely sub six. <laughs> sub six, so. baby, yeah, let's yeah. go. I read a video where well, it said, it what we race do you wanna see later, next? Like Most likes will do it, and I commented marathon like, on the track, oh, yeah. and I got a yeah, lot of likes, so I think that's next for you. Something I really wanna do also is for 5,000 subscribers, five hours of running straight. So if you want to see that, let's get to 5K. Subscribe. On your mark, set, go. Let's go, boys. Let's go, guys. Let's go, boys. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys look smooth. Let's get it. Two, six, seven, two, Woo. How bad do you want it, Aiden? How bad? Kick him down. Kick him down. Let's go. 428, 429, 34, 35, 36. Let's go, boys. Gotta be focused on racing and filming. Oh, oh what was happening? What's your goal today? You gonna win, Jacob? <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. I just wanna have a solid race. Okay. Jacob has been literally having the worst, like, I just wanna break 17 attitude. He no. underestimates himself like crazy. Like, he's like, oh, I, I don't know if I'm gonna break 20 hey. in the 5K. Basically, as soon as I start the race, I've already achieved more than most people will do today. Hi, Jared, how do you been do today? It's terrible. I'm gonna run like 14.59. It's terrible. Have you taken your pre-run dunk yet? I've taken three. <laughs> How are you feeling today? You think you're gonna do well? I mean, I'm nervous. I'm nervous big time, but I think as long as I stay focused, we'll have a good race. I don't know what I'm really aiming for. It's a time trial. We're just gonna have fun, still get a race today, even though the COVID stuff, so yeah. If you're nervous, I guess that means you care. Exactly, good quote. Yeah. Nervous mean you care. Gotta get back to locking in, listening to some roast now, run later. To Seattle and got COVID 19. Throwing broke for by 0.03 seconds. Zach not trading off and don't even admit it. Then there's Crawford who ain't even running. Chase only biggie running in college. Whoo, first time spiking up in a year and a half. Feels kind of weird. Such a neon setup, but. This is what makes me feel comfortable. So you guys know I'm coming in with some commentary during this race at the line. I was nervous. First time on the track in a while. Gun goes off there and these drone shots are actually recorded after. We had problems with recording on the drone so we like replicated the race. But right here, going through the 200, going through the 400, we went out in 80 which was super slow. I expected to go out a little bit faster but it was a good pace, 520s would have been nice. Through the 600 now, and the 5K is really starting to roll. The last thing that I raced was the half marathon, which makes a 5K seem actually pretty short in comparison. Just out here for 16, 17 minutes. Right there, we're gonna come through the 800, and we are even splitting 80s. We were like 239 at the 800, and then that's the 1,000 mark. I was pretty hopeful coming into this race, a couple days before, in the workout video you'll see on Saturday, I had tempo pretty much a sub 17 5k, so I felt fit. I was probably aiming to break 1640, I think, which would be straight 520s, straight 80s on the lap. So now we're coming through the mile, and we're still one group. Jarrett was pacing Jacob and I, and our mile split was 519, which was pretty strong. That's kind of what I wanted. Maybe a few seconds too 
slow, but all in all, it was a great mile. I was feeling really good here. Five laps in, on the six lap now, and I, I felt great through this point. I've been running 60 mile weeks for like the last 10 weeks, so I was expecting my body to be dead. And through the six lap, we are now halfway through this, and Jacob all of a sudden makes a move on the outside and quickly gaps me and Jarrett. My pace was starting to slow a little bit, but my body was so tired, it didn't even feel like it. I was putting in the same effort as I was before, which made it seem like I was still fighting through the same pace. But I was actually really slowing down, and Jacob decided to take things into his own hands. He's going to end up having a great race, but I was still focused. I was like, I'm still going to have a great race here if I stay focused and keep pushing and keep grinding. And mentally, I was super locked in. There was never a point where I felt like I was fading or anything. Like I said, it felt like I was hitting the straight 520s all the way through. Right here is the two mile split and we ended up going through the two mile in 1046, which was pretty strong still. I was happy with that. It's still well under 17 pace. So when I went through, I was like, okay, at least I'm going to break 17. I just got to close hard here, put together a few more laps and we're going to go home decently happy. Even though I was running slower than my goal time, I'm actually okay with it because my body was really so dead. I haven't been tapering. I haven't really been doing anything like that. So I think as soon as I'm able to give my body some rest and recovery, start focusing on some speed, I'll be able to throw down a fast time. If you guys follow me on Strava, you'll know my workouts have been fantastic lately, and I'll get a chance to race another 5k in a week and a half, hopefully coming back, getting some actual competition. It should propel me to run a pretty fast time, especially when I taper hard the week before. So now back to this race, we have two laps to go. Only an 800 between the end of this race. I remember I was like, I am in so much pain. I just want this to be over. But that's what's great about a Rust Buster. It gets you back in the racing mentality so that I'm ready next race to really hone in and sharpen myself up. Lap to go now. And I was like, I got to kick. I got to at least show something. Jacob is going to finish. Phenomenal time from him. Here I come at the end. Absolutely dead. Trying to kick. Not a great time. You know what you're finishing? You have 1641. A watch wow, nice job. Yeah. 12 seconds off my PR, but I'll take it. Time was 1709, kind of garbage. Um, I don't know. Didn't feel it today. It sucks that we're not actually racing. I can't really make excuses. I just didn't have it today. Two weeks from today, we race 5K. Hopefully, we'll actually race. We'll be back. All right, guys, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. What's up, guys? 